Hey everyone, this is Pastor Caleb, and I'll be leading the prayer for today, so let's pray. Our Father, we just love you so much, and we thank you for loving us. And you tell us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-18, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And God, so often... I forget to rejoice and to pray and to give thanks. And I just pray that you'd help us and change our hearts to become more thankful people. Um, help us to rejoice in everything and open our eyes to see that you are a work in every situation, no matter the good and the bad. And um, open our eyes to see the hurting and the loss and the broken that we are able to pour out our love and grace to uh, help us to find ways that we can be a light in this dark world so that people can know the truth, the greatest truth of Jesus Christ. And we thank you for sending Jesus to die um, and to raise from the dead for our sins. Help us to walk with him every day and to make him the priority in our lives. Even if we have to set aside other important things, there's nothing as important as spending time with you. So continue to draw us to yourself, continue to change our hearts, and continue to give us opportunities to be a light during these dark times. And we thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for uh, your grace and your mercy that covers all of our sins. And we pray all these things in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hi, how are you? This is Pastor Tim, and I'm so glad to be able to share some devotional time with you all. Uh, today's message is from Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Now Luke chapter 2 talks about the birth of Jesus. And one thing that really stands out uh, in chapter 2 is the humility of Christ. Now there are four things that we can see. Uh, number one is that he became a helpless baby in verse 7. She gave birth to her first son. The Almighty God, the Creator, our Savior, came as a helpless baby. He needed Joseph and Mary to take care of him. He became a helpless baby in order to help us. Are we willing to receive his help? And number two, he was born in a manger and we're in verse number seven. Wrapped him in clothes and lay him in a manger. There was no room for him to stay in the inn. Now, the major, majority of us were born in a, in a relatively safe and clean place. But think about Jesus, and he was born in a manger. He became poor so that we can become rich in God. Do we have room for him in our heart today? And number three, he was visited by those lowly shepherds in verse 16 so they hurried off and found mary and joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger now those shepherds during jesus time their social status was the lower of the lowest and they were poor and they were dirty and smelly and even their testimonies were not accepted in the courts because people they did not trust them and but it it was this group of shepherds who visited jesus when he was born now they had nothing to offer to jesus and all they could offer were praises to god and also their testimonies and are we willing to offer our praises and testimonies to god and to this world to tell the world that how Jesus has changed our lives. And the last thing that we see is that Jesus, uh, Joseph and Mary could only afford to offer two young pigeons in verse 24. Two young pigeons. What a poor sacrifice. And Joseph and Mary could not afford to offer a lamb as a sacrifice. So they offered two young pigeons. And it speaks of 
Joseph and Mary's financial situation at that time. Now, Jesus was willing to humble himself, to save and to serve us. And what can we do for him in return? All right. May the Lord bless you. And I see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.